for as long as I can remember, that mirror has been in my room for a long time. It is long and stretched, covering almost half the length of my bedroom wall, a plain and simple mirror. My parents told me it had been around since we moved into this house and thought it would suit a girl like me and never thought about putting it down. I'm not too fussed about that either. I do my hair, do my makeup in front of him every morning and then walk out, never minding it. Until I decided that I had to make some changes, by renovating my room a bit. I asked my parents to move the mirror. They agreed and called for several men to pry the mirror off the wall without damaging it. Then put it in my cupboard. Satisfied with the change in my room, I covered up the scars with posters and postcards. Now the mirror has been hidden. I even almost forgot about it. Until one night. Maybe about a week after I moved the mirror. My parents were away on a business trip, so my two younger siblings and I stayed home alone. The day went well as usual and my two younger siblings were asleep in their rooms. I lay in my bed, fast asleep. I'm not the type of person who wakes up easily but a feeling of discomfort suddenly hit me while I was sleeping. I found myself waking up in the middle of the night covered in cold sweat, my breathing was so fast and I didn't know what caused it, I didn't feel as if I had a bad dream or was sick. But my stomach kept churning, as if warning me of something. I try to forget it, hoping this feeling will soon disappear. It was around 1 in the morning and all was quiet again. I could hear my own breathing and tried to go back to sleep. But in the dim darkness I could hear a soft tapping sound, like something knocking on glass. Knock knock. I stared at the window, nothing outside my room could be causing the sound. So I turned around. Facing the wall. Maybe it's just my imagination, or maybe even a mouse, due to circumstances. Then I heard the sound again. Knock knock. Knock knock. Four beats, loud and clear, broke the silence. I paused, holding my breath, trying to trace the source of the sound. There isn't any. Tired, I convinced myself that it was due to a lack of sleep that was causing me to overimagine. So I closed my eyes, and tried to sleep for the umpteenth time. Knock knock, knock knock, knock knock. My eyes opened once again. I lay still, hoping that the sound would soon fade away like before. But the rhythmic beat only picked up speed, faster and faster, until it annoyed and scared me at the same time. Now I'm fully awake and know that maybe it was my brother, and maybe they were trying to seduce me. I was fed up, then pierced the silence of the night with my screams. Stop it. The knocking finally stopped and I was about to turn off my bedroom light again, but the sound came back and only got louder. I got up, annoyed and irritated and looked for the source of the sound. And found it came from my wardrobe. I didn't doubt that my brother would be hiding there, waiting for me to surprise me. I went to my wardrobe, forced the door open. No sign of my brother. None at all. But there are red handprints, running on the surface of the mirror. Still wet, as if only a few seconds ago. I approached the mirror, reaching to touch the red smudges. Then there was a very loud bang. My heart skipped a beat when I saw him. That strange creature. With his rotting hands and shriveled fingers he pounded the glass from the inside, trying to destroy the wall that separated my world and his. He was somewhat human-like, but more frightening. His jaw and head are bent which makes him look odd. Her eyes were drowned in blood, as if they were her own tears. His hair was messy and there were many cuts on his face. He stared at me, continuing to pound on the glass with all his strength. My eyes were glued, I couldn't move. I had a hard time breathing as his eyes stared fixedly at me. He's so hungry. So passionate. He hit his arm so hard. The mirror started shaking and then cracked. Something I was worried about finally happened, the mirror shattered into pieces, accompanied by screams, screams and roars from it that really deafened anyone who heard it. 
I immediately opened my bedroom door and ran down the corridor as soon as I regained control of my body, I went into the bathroom and locked the door. My body shivered in the darkness at the sound of the creature rising from the broken glass, waiting for it to come get me, waiting for its long nails to scrape this door. Holding back sobs I huddled against the wall, praying. Maybe an hour or so had passed, but to me, it was like a day. I can't hear anything from him. I feel my heart beat back to normal, as well as my breathing. I kept waiting until I had the confidence to stand up and tiptoe out of the bathroom, slowly turning the knob. But can't open. Fear ran down my spine again. I suddenly remembered that the bathroom door lock was broken. I sat back down on the cold tile, locked in the bathroom at least still better than being eaten alive. I started to get comfortable before finally hearing something from the bathroom sink mirror. Not even one meter from me. Knock knock.